dinner, that chicken, that five car ass out of tacos, I had to eat one already, I'm hungry, man. It's Itachi, she probably got number scraps over there left. <laughs> man, yeah, I'll try this place out if y'all come to Texas, man. I'm telling you, this food off the chain. Try it out, try it out, try it out, yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mike H. Back again, man. Been a while. I know it. I know it. But I'm back there. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all a little piece of this Texas, man. Been saying that for I don't know how long. Oh, y'all like that hat? Check that, check that. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I went to this uh, Mexican restaurant the other day. Right in the gas station, man. And they had some fire ass taco. That's what I'm talking about, man. And then they had some some stuff on the wall with like where the old uh, Mexicans, I guess, slaves used to be, like the little kind of like we used to have uh, during slavery times. How they used to have your arms like hanging up, and then they used to have your your head in the chain. You used to walk like that and shit. They had some of that shit hanging up in the wall and a gun and shit. I'm like this is this damn Mexican restaurant in a gas station. I'm like, why would I get tacos from a gas station? But when I go in there, I look at this motherfucker and man. There's so much heritage in there, just that little one spot. I'm like, damn. I'm like, people need to see this shit, man. I'm like, I don't really, I don't really uh, get the chance to do this shit in Shreveport or Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might see Mexican people, I might see Mexican restaurant, but it's like more commercialized. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really natural. You know what I'm saying? So, give, give me some of that light. Some of the light in my life. I don't know if y'all can see me, man. Dr. Fuck. Got the Katrina Threes on, man. See them things, man. See them things, man. Ooh. There we go. Let me check out the booty. Let my boy say your booty. Mike Rich, man. Shout out to Mike Rich. Like you say, booty. But anyway, I'm gonna go out. I gotta go get some stuff from Home Depot. Where else I gotta go? I gotta go to Walmart and get some stuff. Where else I gotta go? Uh, I don't know. But y'all stay tuned, man. Mike HTV. Man, people so friendly here. I met down there. All my neighbors already been here a month, and everybody I come in contact with, man. Like, like I said about the racism in Shreveport, man. Back in Louisiana, like. I'm so used to that rac racism, I like the shit here, which is normal to other people. Tri like, it trips me out. Like I was at, I was looking for a job the other day, and the lady on the phone said it was between um, Old Navy on the corner of Old Navy on the same level as Whole Foods. So I'm looking for that shit, and you know, since to me it's easy for me to grab a director. If I go to a mall, if I go, if I go anywhere, I grab a director. So I know exactly where I'm going. But some of them like. I went to this tour at one time and they didn't even they weren't even on the director but anyway uh, so i'm sitting there looking for the place and the white girl i know was like hey sir you you need some help finding something i'm like yeah i was like i told her what i was looking for on the corner of old navy on the same level whole food she's like oh it's right upstairs in front of you i'm like okay thank you she's like no problem have a good day and she was just you know what i'm saying talking to her mama when i walked up i saw them you know what i'm saying because i actually walked around them to grab the director and it was surprising to me that she just took her time out of her day to, hey, you need some help, you know. Uh, yeah, we found where it went, and she went back with her day. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's a small thing to y'all, but to me, it's significant because, for one, like the media showed the trust between white and black people is, is uh, unstable. You know what I'm saying? And from my living in Shreveport and Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? White people ain't that friendly, ain't that helpful. It surprises me that people are so friendly down here. But I have yet to uh, reconnect with the goddamn anybody who doing YouTube out here or any subscribers, man. I try to reach out to a lot of people, man. Everybody, I fucking searched Dallas on YouTube one time and fucking everybody page I went to left comments, all that kind of shit, but nobody got back with your boy. So, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's regardless, you know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna do my thing. I'm still gonna be pushing it because it, it's, it's more of a legacy rather than fucking entertainment for right now. But website coming soon, all that shit coming soon, man. So, 
thing I noticed too though. People look at you crazy when you have a camera and you talk to it. <laughs> the videos make sense. But now in, in uh, real time, when you fucking making videos and you talking to a camera, people, they make crazy. What the fuck is he doing? They walk to the side like, I don't want to be in it. Well, ain't nobody worried about your motherfucking ass. I don't know. Fuck. It takes people crazy. It's probably somebody fucking traffic, man. That's one thing. That's the only bad thing, man. Damn traffic. They be killing it. But I'm kind of getting used to that shit now. And it don't take you no time at all, no time at all to be uh to get used to their damn driving. But man, oh shit, so many, so many damn malls, so many places I've been, man, since I've been here. This job took me, took me damn to where, I mean, damn near, I said damn where, damn near everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Look at these people, they driving by right now. They see me holding this camera, talking to it. They be like, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. I need to like and subscribe, goddamn. <laughs> But y'all do the same, man. Like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, man. Y'all show your boys some love. I've been out here doing this thing, man. Still going to school, still killing it. You know what I'm saying? I almost forgot yesterday. Fucking, man, I've been putting in damn hours in. I put in 12 yesterday. But shit, putting these hours in, man. It's hard to keep track of school, but shit. I ain't slipping. Still got that B, man. Still keeping it, keeping it G. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one thing, I've been watching a lot of motivational videos, a lot of investment videos. Uh, real estate videos, stuff like that. I always keep it going, man. Even if you, even if you're not in school, man. See, it's important to fucking. Uh, it's important to keep your education going. Like back in the day, they used to force us to go to school. Now it's up to us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, keep the education going. But anyway, watching uh, a lot of motivational videos, and one of them I've been watching is Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick Cannon, man. But a lot of people don't like him. They think he's corny. But investment wise, money wise. Man, and he a black young black man, man. So shit. Uh, that's an, another thing was before. See, I'm jumping around. That's why I hate doing that, man. But anyway, mentors. We always say we don't have mentors, but if we all if we look at other black men instead of you know what I'm saying, like Nick Cannon being corny and shit like that. A lot of people might like Nick Cannon, but you know what I'm saying. Instead of looking at him as corny, you know what I'm saying. Think of him as a mentor because he's a young black man doing some shit. You know, we always say ain't no good black man doing that. But he, he doing something, so pick up the jewels from him, but he do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, everybody drops some knowledge. It's, it's up to you to, the, to decipher that knowledge, to chop it up and see how you can use it. But anyway, a lot of motivation videos, and uh, one thing uh, Dick Kennedy said is, uh, you know, he go to Howard University now, and he was talking about how, you know, when the American dollar crashed, because it will, you know what I'm saying, I ain't prepared for it yet, but uh, trying to get that way. But when the American dollar crashed, what the fuck are we gonna be doing? You're like you, you're gonna have to have something to fall back on, and it's gonna have to be your wisdom. And he said, wisdom is true power because it's something no one can take from you. And you know, when I pray, you know, to the Most High, I ask for wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You know, knowledge and wisdom no difference, but I ask specifically for wisdom because wisdom, no matter what comes across in my daily life, with wisdom I can decipher that and use that to help benefit me in some kind of way, you know what I'm saying, help, help motivate me or get, push me to the next level, you know what I'm saying, but another thing, man, I started my self limit today, uh, I'm going to do another video real soon, probably today, I'm going to probably set it up today, but it's going to be a video for tomorrow or later on, you know what I'm saying, the game come on tonight, so you know I'm going to be repping that Golden State, you know what I'm saying, but like I said, don't take this as nothing, you know what I'm saying. I like the Bulls, MJ all day. That's why I keep the hat on. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, that's why I keep the hat on. But I'm not that much of a goddamn fan to where I buy everything this motherfucker make. You know what I'm saying? I like Nike and other shit. And but anyway, back to the shit. But anyway, I'm gonna make me another video about Self Lender. Self Lender is a um, like I said, an online savings bank. That's how I use it. And what it's, what it really is is a credit builder account. But like I said, I'm gonna make another video going more in depth about what self lender is and what my what I just signed back up for it and what I'm doing and how it's gonna benefit me and my last experience since I just dropped it a little bit in the last video in one of my videos. But I just started back my self lender. You know what I'm saying? They changed the, they changed up how you pay. You know what I'm saying? So I think it'd be a good time to you know go over the go over it while it's current. But I'm trying to do a lot of things different, man. I lost my train of thought what I originally was fucking finna say. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, finna do a lot of things different. And uh, I need to need to save money. You know what I'm saying? So self-lender. That's what I was going to say. 
self-limited. You need to save money. We all need to save money, regardless. We all know we need to save it. We need to put it away, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard to save it, especially when you trying to put it in the bank account or leave it on the card and you end up swiping it when you need it. So that's why self lender is beneficial for me and so many other people because it's, like I said, an online savings account where the money is out of your hand, but you treat it like a bill. So you like, if you are like, damn, I got to pay myself lender. It's like, uh, I'm paying myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting my money in my own savings account. You know, so it's always beneficial to put yourself in that type of mindset because we know we got to save money anyway. But like I said, man, that's another video for another time.